Hey, what's up guys? My name is Dan, and today I'll be showing you how to fix lag and stuttering issues that you may encounter in Far Cry 3. Now, it's a fact that when Far Cry 3 was shipped, um, I mean, as soon as I tried it out on my PC, and many other people reported this as well, I noticed a lot of stuttering. The game was unplayable, and people with uh, high-end graphics cards, you know, that were released like this year, uh, they couldn't even play the game on medium settings, and that's pretty ridiculous. And they had like stuttering on low too. So, uh, this, uh, af you know, after researching on the internet on Google, after uh, googling around here and there, I found the best settings for uh, NVIDIA control panel and for the game itself, and these settings combined eliminated my stuttering problems, and I'm getting a solid, you know, 80 frames per second in the game. So, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and uh, open your preferred browser, navigate to google.ca, well that's because I live in Canada, right here type in NVIDIA drivers, and click on this link right here, uh, and down here you want to navigate to beta and older drivers because actually the driver that uh, fixes uh, Far Cry 3 issues and improves per performance for Far Cry 3 for NVIDIA graphics cards is uh, a beta driver. So go ahead and click on that. Choose your your graphics card right here. Mine is a GeForce, uh, GeForce 500 series, uh, 570. I have the GTX 570 super clocked by EVGA. Go ahead and choose your operating operating system. I have the Windows 7 64-bit operating system. Language uh, English recommended. Uh, just just go ahead and uh, choose all here. Doesn't matter. And go ahead and press search. Now the driver that you need is the 310.70 driver. It's a beta driver. Was released on December 4th, 2012. So go ahead and click on that, and then just go ahead and click on download. As you can see here, performance boost increases performance for GeForce 400 slash 500 slash 600 series GPUs and several PC games. Um, right up here it says, uh, this GeForce driver is recommended for the best experience in the blockbuster holiday games, Far Cry 3 being one of them, providing up to 38% faster performance. Um, now right down here it says that uh, G the GTX uh, 680 um, had the best, uh, you know, performance boost for Far Cry 3, but you know what, I think, I think my graphics card, um, uh, also showed these results, uh, I had a huge perform performance boost in my game, so, you know what, go ahead and download this driver, and when you did that, go ahead, uh, and go ahead and open your, uh, NVIDIA control panel down here on the bottom right, uh, hand corner of your desktop, and navigate to manage 3D settings, which is right here, where my cursor is, Click on that, and then choose from the drop-down menu Far Cry 3. And if it's not there, then just press Add, and then look for it in your uh, in your Explorer. So now, right here, these are my settings. So this is the first thing you want to do. Uh, match these settings exactly. Um, I mean, like if you have personal uh, specifics that you want to choose, go ahead. But I'm not. I'm not like you know. I'm not guaranteeing that your stuttering will be fixed if you do that. So right here, anisotropic filtering, application controlled. Any aliasing, uh, aliasing FXAA, use global setting off. Uh, any aliasing gamma correction, uh, on. Any aliasing mode, application controlled. And then right here. Any aliasing transparency, use global setting off. Uh, CUDA or CUDA or CUDA, I don't even know how to say that. Use global setting all. Maximum pre rendered frames, use global setting. Uh, and then that says use the 3D application uh, setting. Right here. Multi-display slash mixed GPU acceleration. If you have multiple displays running for Far Cry 3, I'm not sure if that will fix your stuttering issues, but you can try setting this to uh, multiple display. I have one display, so I set it on single display performance mode. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance. That will also obviously waste, uh, or sorry, use the most power. It's not really wasting. Um, but uh, you know, if you don't really, if you don't, if you don't really pay the bills <laughs> in your in your house, then I guess you don't really care. But uh, you know, set this to prefer maximum performance, that will obviously give you the maximum perfor performance. Uh, right here, these are the important ones, texture filtering, anisotropic sample optimization, set it to off, uh, negative LOD bias, clamp, quality, high quality, trillionaire optimization on, and then, oops, okay, now right here, threaded optimization, auto, triple buffering off, texture filtering off, and then vertical sync, use the 3D application setting. I set uh, vert vertical sync to off because that actually limits your frames to 60 and I prefer to ha you know to play on like high frames like 80 to 100 that's what I'm used to. Um, but yeah so these are the settings that you want in your NVIDIA control panel and then just go ahead and click apply and uh, close NVIDIA control panel. Now I'll show you uh, the settings that you need to, uh, to, to put into your game in Far Cry 3 itself.
So these are the in-game settings that you need to uh, set in Far Cry 3. Uh, now there's two. There's two uh, options that you need to change on the left. You need to change the the video, some of the video settings, and some of the video quality settings. And uh, we'll start with the video settings. And these are the video settings. I have VSync set to off, like I said. GPU max buffered frames to three. Uh, widescreen letterbox off. DirectX uh, DirectX 11. If you have uh, if you don't have Windows 7 or later, then you probably ha will have to set that to like 10. Uh, and then you want uh, any aliasing off, uh, other than if you're sure that uh, your PC can run it. Uh, and then, you know, just copy the rest of my settings here. Now, these are the settings uh, that you need to set in video quality. And uh, to go ahead at the top, uh, click custom and then just copy these settings right here if you still get uh, if you still get lag uh, then you know lower the settings but your stuttering issues will most likely be, f be fixed unless you have a really old PC then all you have to do is uh, <laughs> you know upgrade your hardware but yeah I'm gonna keep the uh, the settings shown on the screen here so these are the settings that worked best for me Go ahead and subscribe if you're new here. Leave a like if uh, this fix worked for you. Leave a comment as well. Thanks for watching. This was Dan. See ya.